Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm now going to be talking about Battle Pass shows 9.0 and the changes mainly includes ISO finally getting nerfed after he was giga buffed in the, in the last patch. Abyss has now been added to ranked uh, map. Play behavior, basically they've just made some changes removing the zero tolerance and basically you'll be uh, increasing penalties. Premiere has also begun and console is now live on, sorry, competitive is now live on console. So all platforms, they've also added some new some, um, some new conversation voice lines between agents, which includes Phoenix, Harbor, Brim, Yoru, Rays, Iso, Sage, Neon, Gecko, Sky, Deadlock, Omen, Kaya, and Rayna. Iso, thank fuck they are reverting this change because Iso was way, way OP. Um, so basically, they have reduced the duration of the double tap, and they've all, and they've also got rid, of, got rid of the signal kill reset removed. That's good because I'll be honest, it was very OP when I was playing Valorant against an ISO, which is quite a lot of them. So thank God for that. An interesting change as well for consoles that service Aldron HP is now 100, now up from 60, which is interesting. I think it actually is 60 on PC. So that's the case. That's really, really weird to me that it's now up to a hundred on console and still on sixty, I think, on 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 PC. But I might be wrong about that. Competitive updates as well for PC. Abyss is now added into the ranked map pool, so now you can now play Abyss in rank and watch a lot of people die from the, uh, from ju by jumping off the map, which is still quite funny. Um, for console, competitive mode is all is also live as well for console. The, co the competitive mode map pool will start with Abyss, Ascent, Bind, Haven, and Sunset. With new maps slowly being added into the next few patches, so for your console uh, players, have fun, um, have fun in Aussie and comp, and good luck to, as well to um, see who can get a radiant first in console. That'd be very interesting to watch. Uh, console, they've also added a new a new controls preset selection screen upon first boon up prior to loading into the tutorial. You can now choose between a Valorant specific control preset or a more familiar traditional console FPS preset as your starting control scheme. You can easily change your preset and customize controls at any point once in game through the setting menu. Polish sound, the sound transition between focus and ADS to better reflect the aim state. Your transition into crosshair presets have now been updated to reflect a better variety of usable crosshairs. Updated the fighter control preset so that crouches are hold action instead of a toggle action. And, and they've also added the uh, the holistic aim sensitivity slider. So this is what the screen will look like if you want to get into the controls. So there's obviously aim, aim sensitivity, advanced sensitivity settings, falls ABS. Obviously, you can see all of that as well on your screen. Added as well the ability to enter a precision mode, uh, mode while in control settings to adjust sensitivity slider by one by one increments. So basically, uh, finally, so there you go. That's just an example there. Uh, for example, on the, the focus horizontal sensitivity fine adjustment, you can do that by one by point one um and i've also had as well with the play behavior updates in addition to removing the zero tolerance terms from texture on pc people who repeatedly engage in this behavior will see increased penalties on their on their transgressions so that's pretty interesting there and premier updates is now back so teams in content uh, so teams in contender that earned a promotion in say in sage episode three act Th so stage episode eight actually i still need to get used to that uh are now in the new invite division where finishing the stage at a highest enough rank will earn you an opportunity to make it into a challenges league contender and invite divisions play a little differently so strict rematch protection in weekly matches prevent you from ever matching against the same team more than once in a stage if we can't find you in an appropriate match during the queue window you'll be given a bye Buys award a match win and a hundred points. Pretty good there, I guess. Losers awards only zero, so you would not lose any points. Finals in playoffs are best of three matchups. There are there are some extra roster uh, restrictions for contender and invite division teams. Obviously, you can read more about it in this article here, um, which is part of the patch notes. Social updates: When you add a friend, you can now paste all type of full ride ID, including tagline, into the ride ID field, that and it will automatically split the data into the ride ID and tagline field, which is very very useful. Console: We've also updated the, con the the communications menu, so it's easier to manage team and party voice on the fly. They've also added voice chat to the settings page. Now you can set um, now you can 
tailing your mic behavior and voice settings to suit your setup. Uh, bug fixes as well. Agent PC fix an issue where ISO shield hitbox can be can be misaligned. And console fix an issue where Jet's Tailwind diagonal dash uh, that was reducing the dash length. Console settings well for, for console fix an issue in team deathmatch where you would incorrectly see a draw as the final result in the end of and the end of game screens and added the specific scoreboard screens from team deathmatch and deathmatch. Gameplay system for all pl for all platforms fix a particle issue when using ADS on level three and level four uh, and level so level three and four Miss Bloom collection. Fix an issue where where exiting Cypher Spy can that cause Cypher's hands to to stutter for spectators. Interesting. Consoles well fix an issue where both focus and ADS sound would play duration. No, sorry, sorry, will play during transitions. Fix leave game menu persisting through AFK idling and fix the animation bug with leave game menu. Map for for the abyss. Fix several un unintended boost positions. Fix bugs allowing players to get under the map. That was a massive thing. A side cover should now properly appear in Omen and Astra's smoke targeting world. Fix an Omen exploit allowing him to get between the spawn barriers. It's for, for, on social for console, fix an issue where the friends list will, will sometimes display inaccurate platform uh, information for friends. And there's some known issues well which has not been fixed yet. Console, when navigating surrender menus, there's a chance you, your controls can become locked for an entire round. True to this, we've elected to, to disable the surrender and remake menus until we can properly fix this issue, draw will remain functional. PC for Premiere, when changing the stage in the drop down on the Sanus page, the content doesn't refresh. To see accurate Sanus to pass stage, change the stage, then change divisional zone and the content will update. The Sanus page sometimes fails to update and you may see fewer teams than expected. Click on another tab in the Premiere Hub and then return to Sanus Tunes to fix the issue. If you are in contender or invite and are, and are awarded a buy during weekly matches, you will not see that match recorded in the Premier Match History tab. You will be awarded a win in 100 Premier Schools as expected, and that is a reflected correcting on the standings. So that's really about it for this patch. Obviously, it's mainly just ISO being nerfed. Abyss now in the com is now in comp, including as well console. Comp is now live. So now, like, so now like you know, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me, especially on this channel. I'm really happy that those ISO um, nerfs have come in because fucking hell, ISO has just been an absolute menace online. So that's really bad for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.